Hi and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence and today we're going to take a look at the Boss Fight Studios. Sorazoric Warrior Mar Osis. There he is. He's colorful. He's the size of a Motu figure. Uh, you're going to be able to take a look at the other Sorazoric Warriors that I did. Uh, so this is going to be the third video I'm doing. The fourth figure that I'm actually reviewing. Two of them are the same one. They were repaints. So I did them together. Um... But yeah, let's take a look at this thing. Uh, I, so far, I really like these. They have pretty much the same articulation as the Master of the Universe. They fit the same size, and we're going to scale them, and you can see how well they fit. Um, I don't know anything about it. I don't know why I needed colorful dinosaurs, because I'm not even going to dinosaurs, but I just needed these. So as you can see, there he is. He does have a file card on the back. So I'll quickly read what it says, because there is a story that's going on with these, Okay. Uh, it says, so a member of the vicious theropod tribe, Mar Osis, a.k.a. Maro, takes the dirtiest job no one else wants with allegiance to whomever is paying most handsomely. His latest bounty is to capture the rogue Triax Skeever and return the stolen goods to the lords who hoarded them to keep him focused on tasks. He's been given some of the advanced weapons guarded so jealous, so jealous, so jealously <laughs> well not particularly bright mar is a cruel fighter using his brute force along with blades and razor sharp back spines to slice his enemies mar osis arrives equipped for a good fight with a knife brand new mega blaster and armor. so there's the uh, artwork it is very comic bookish but that's fine because that's what they're trying to do again colorful so anyway, let's open this up. But before we do, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a Sorazoric Warrior. Say that a few times. You'll eventually get it. All right, so Mar o Osis is out of his plastic prison, and let's just take a quick look at this guy. Um, man, oh, man. He is beefy. He is colorful. I love his overlays and everything. So uh, quickly, let's start at the articulation that you're going to get. So you get the famous T-pose that I've talked about so many times. Uh, swivel over here. Let's see here. Where's the... So he does get the... He only has a single joints, gets about a 90 degree. Again, he's big and beefy like Master of the Universe, not as big, but I believe, let's say he gets a little bit more of a, um, closer to 90 degree than Master of the Universe. Now this thing, it's like this is kind of in the way. Move that out of the way. So this arm gets a little bit less, I think, yeah, maybe the same. Got the wrist swivel. They can move back and forth. And again, this is right out of the box, so it is moving extremely nice and smooth. Uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now this is, I think his belt is in the way. He doesn't get as much as the other ones, but he also looks like he might not be like completely symmetric. And I think that is actually uh, <laughs> by design. So he's got, let's see, this thing here, his knee pad kind of gets in the way. So it's going to prevent the... Uh, his knee from bending a full 90. Same with this one. So these ones get pretty good bends, I would say. But having the knee pads definitely obstructs it. So that's something you got to play with. But again, they're giving you a lot of overlays. But it doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means you got to do a little bit of work. And then ankle rockers. They do have no pegs. But again, look how big that footprint is. You should be able to get this guy to stand. Uh, he does have the neck here that's going to move back and forth. Now he's going to be, looks like he can only get so much because of his, uh, his spines here. But then his neck also moves. And like all the, all the other ones, he has jaw articulation. Ooh, now this one doesn't want to stay up. So that's, this is the first one that I would say doesn't really want to stay up that well. Actually, or maybe it's just popped out of place. Oh, so it is just kind of loose. So, yeah, it doesn't want to stay up in place. So, a little disappointing there. Looks like it might have to do a little bit of modification to get that to stay up. So, that is the first 
one of the, well, I think I had maybe one other little beef or gripe about the other one, but other way. So he has a big tail. So here's a spiky tail. I'm gonna pop this on. These spikes are sharp. <laughs> Not as sharp as a NECA. <laughs> Those things are really, really hard. I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to heat this up because the way the ball joint sits. I kind of wanted to do this one next just so I could show you. So this, so his, I guess his buttocks here, his waist is all soft. So it's pretty much free flowing, uh, which I don't know if the other ones are that way. But I think that may be just to get this tail on. Now I did pop the head off one of the other ones. And I was able to get it back on, but... They really want you to, to heat it up, in my opinion. So there you go. He's got the big tail on him now. It does make his pants sag down. So I feel like something is amiss here. but Or it's just designed poorly. Hmm. I think I have to play around with this one. His spikes are really causing a problem with how big he is and then his... His leather jacket that he has but I guess if you push this so if you push the tail down it pulls his pants down and he's got a plumber's crack if it's in the up position which actually probably looks better he actually seems to stand pretty well you can turn it so if it's up his pants are kind of up but I guess he used the belt to, to cover it up that's kind of a poor design Oof. oh well unfortunately all right, so let's quickly take a look at it, and looking at his face, it looks extremely nice. Nice uh, paint apps, so the pink nose, it just kind of stands out. Um, his eyes are popping out there, really nice. He's got his nice teeth, and then he's got the tongue that you can see, and the inside is painted really nice. Again... This is by far, this is the, whew, the most disappointing one so far uh, of the four that I've opened. Jaw doesn't want to stay up. So let's look at the paint here. The paint looks really nice, and you can see there's a different shade in it. Different shade on his, on his arms. The texture is absolutely wonderful on this. Um, you look at the jacket. It's got a nice little zipper that runs up. It's got some spikes at the top. No run on the paint, so it's not smeared anywhere. It's nice and pliable, so you can take it off if you want to. Then he's got his nice little bright pink belt that looks like it's probably carrying some sort of magazines or just got a bunch of different pouches that he can use. I love the blue spikes. It really just it sets it off. Looks like he's got a sheath here on his arm. That pops off. I hope I didn't break that, but I think I did. All right, so I'm starting to have a few issues with this one. That's disappointing, um, considering the other four or other three have been absolutely wonderful. But maybe they put too much on this figure. We're going to have to address this after. Uh, so he's got, I mean, he is, it's kind of funny. We just watched Mad Max, and this is clearly Road Pig. Or the, I don't know what the guy from Mad Max is, but this is that guy. Um, he's got the nice knee pads. Again, they're kind of in the way, so they're obstructing. I'm very disappointed in this figure so far. I mean, I like the way he looks, but it just seems like, again, this is the first look. I, I kind of got to mess with it. Looking at the sheath here, you can kind of see where the paint is. So... I mean, it just plugs in, and it looks like they probably glue it on, but it's in a really poor spot. The other ones, well, the other ones that I've opened so far don't have that. So you, there you can kind of see that. You know, this one wasn't supposed to take this long. This was going to be pretty quick and easy, but here I am now struggling with this and getting a little disappointed because I'm going to have to glue this back on if you want to keep it on there, or else it's just going to fall right off. And his jaw just fell off. I get, ugh. Oof, not happy about this one. 
I mean, I think everything else looks really nice. They just put too many, you know, here you have this nice blue here, but because it's a, an actual extra piece, it kind of gets in the way, but the knee pads just definitely get in the way. So I, I don't really know what to say. Uh, quickly looking at the paint. Again, the paint and everything looks wonderful. The, 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 the scales on them, I mean, the texture just looks wonderful, just like the other ones. But the fact that his jaw keeps pop, well, his jaw just popped off, but it was off before. So, this one is disappointing. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do if I should contact them, contact BBTS. I'm going to see if I can get this to go back on. All right, so then he has a pauldron here. No paint apps on it. I'm going to guess this thing just... So it just kind of sits on it. It's tight enough that there's no issues. This is a knife that we've actually already seen. So it's pink. It's got the spikes. Again, it reminds me of barbecue, which technically would go in here. But unfortunately, it's soft enough, but it does stay straight. And then he has this big old cannon, which I don't even know how I'm going to put that on there. Now, it looks like maybe there's actually some blast effects for the, uh, ports for blast effects. The other weapons do not have that. Uh, but it's more like a Gantling gun or a mini gun. And I'm wondering if you can actually hold it. But black on the bottom. Nice detail. Again, these are dinosaurs. Oh, so the handle moves back and forth. So that's nice. I'm wondering if I can get this in his hand. So I'm not even sure if... Because they're so bulky. And this guy is really bulky. How we're going to be able to get... Now, it's nice... Okay, so that's not bad. They made it so the handle moves back and forth. Of course, he looks kind of stupid without his jaw. Um, I guess he maybe smoked too much and had some throat cancer there. So, there you go. Looks like he's shooting... Of course, I can't have the knife on it. I don't know. This one is disappointing. Uh, great idea, but it looks like f a lot of flaws in it. And the pauldron looks like it goes on either side. So it doesn't really matter what side you want to put it on. I don't think there's a second one. It had fallen out when I opened it up. All right, well, there you go. That's uh, Mar-Osis. So, Mario or Wario. Again, other than that, I mean, this is... So, out of four, this is the one that I obviously do have a somewhat complaint about. And I was actually kind of excited for this. But he is a road warrior. Um, the fact that we just watched that movie, so it just falls off. So, I, I'm going to have to decide what I'm going to do with that. So, let's just wrap this up. Uh, so, I'm disappointed. I, I don't know what else to say. Definitely disappointed. Because this one seems like it has some Hasbro flaws. Hasbro QC issues. Alright, so quickly I forgot to do a comparison. So, uh, th this is Triax Skeever. He's basically the leader of the good guys. You can see how he stands pretty close to what Skeletor is. There's the main bad guy. He's a little bit taller. And this guy is really short. So, he's really short, stocky. Way smaller than a Mo2 figure, but he's supposed to be, I believe. So, anyway, that's that. Let's wrap it up. All right, so there you have it. That is my review of Mar Osa. Osis. I want to say Osiris, the old skateboard shoes. Um, I don't know what to say. I really like these figures, but this just... It seems like they wanted to put a big hulking figure out there. But there's just some things, uh, again, like the tail here, it pulls down the pants. And I'm okay with that. The belt tends to cover it. But then you have, again, the jaw just literally pops off. I, I it, it doesn't want to stay on there. I, I can't imagine whatever glue you use that that's really going to stay in that, in that position. All the, um, again, the knee pads here, they prevent you from getting a good knee bend. It's just disappointing because the figure looks really nice. 
And I mentioned before on the other ones, Fulgen's going to continue to fall. But again, it's meant to be like that. It's not a problem. It stays there. But I mentioned that these are pretty good for kids. I mean, but again, at a $30 price point, kids are definitely going to lose all this. And I can't imagine other people have going to have much better luck than what I'm having just by how it's designed. I mean, it's actually kind of cool here in Michigan right now. This thing does pop right back on, but it's like it needs a sturdier plastic. So anyway, let's wrap it up, do some pictures. Uh, again, I like the figure. I've heard really good stuff about Boss Fight Studios. Uh, you know, this is not only the, what, fifth, fifth figure. Of, of, that I've had of theirs. Other people rave about it. Everything seems really good, except for it seems like maybe there's a few QC issues. They just they just didn't tighten certain things up. So anyway, let's wrap it up again. Take a second, jump on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Follow me at Punk With Toys and the Facebook group page, Punks With Toys, because once you join, you're a Punk With Toys. And don't forget, before you leave, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is Roman sitting at the door whining because he can't go see one of the other kids, I guess. I don't know. You guys met Roman. You know how he is. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here, but don't go anywhere. Take a second. Here's another Sorozoric Warrior review. Better than this one. And here's the playlist of all the ones that I've done.